um, and in your life, when you were younger, did you have a figure that inspired you like Kate was inspired by Hawkeye? Question for both of you. Ooh. I, I, I've always felt, I mean, I don't know. I think I've always looked to the people in my life, the, the real people in my life closest to me, um, yeah. as my main sources of, of inspiration and, and motivation. Um, yeah, I feel very lucky to have that too, because I think Kate finds, uh, Hawkeye when she loses someone close to her. And that's like, that's sort of the, the closest thing. Uh, she feels a connection to that she felt with the person that she lost. So um, I feel very lucky that I have those people in my life. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, well, I don't know. I'm, uh, my, my dad's my superhero. There you go. So is my mom. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, it's my values come from the family I love. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. That inspired me in a different way as a young man. Like, mm. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Or a spider, I love mean, that kind of stuff, right? But like, my values always, always came from my, my family. Mm. And I also love the fact that you actually shoot in New York. You can actually see that it was last year because there were no people like in Times Square or in felt in a certain way weird in that sense. But also, I think it's like an homage to the resilience of the city that extends also to the world. At, Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not a case that we also see the firefighters, you know, since the, the first episode starts with the, what happened in 2012 with Avengers, you know, uh, it's something that you want to pay homage as well for, you know, the resilience of humanity in a certain circumstances. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's what's fun is, you know, again, these obviously the scale of Marvel, it can be so big. And, and I, I, what I love is, you know, again, the, the way in of seeing the Battle of New York from Kate's perspective and understanding the impact of a specific moment on someone and how that might reverberate, I think is really um, a great one way. And yes, and then I, I love New York and, and you know, I, 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 those are my formative years who spent in New York. And so I think getting to celebrate it as a place uh, and, and you know at Christmas time too was was really exciting. And I'm asking you with the Captain America shield on the on the back but there is also you know a, a fun way to analyze the passion that fans have for collecting you know uh, memorabilia from the movie that uh, or the TV show that you direct and the characters that you bring to life. How, how does it make you, people that cosplay are dressed like them? How does it make you feel, you know, as a producer and director to see this aspect? I mean, it's it's amazing and, and you know and and scary. Um, you know, more from the responsibility that you feel towards them. You know, it's uh, well, like I'm a, I'm a fan, but you you know, some people really really live and breathe. Uh, this and I know what it means to everyone and and so yes you feel that responsibility and and you know you want to make sure you're making the right decisions for them so um, yes I, I, I you know again it's very exciting to, to walk into that landscape but but yes I'd be lying if I didn't say I was scared.